Toodles. But to be honest, I'm not in the Christmas mood at all. Uh, just like a lot of crap has happened over the few days and stuff like that. But um, yeah, I've uh, been depressed a lot during this December because just problems, worries, and bloody everything. Like my grandma's been in the hospital, and we've been having money problems and just problems with mum and just getting upset with stupid things and work and then it's all and then how my grandma was in hospital and I found out like two days ago that she's died so oh, we've got to then wait for information of funeral and stuff like that like it hasn't really I'm upset about it but it hasn't really like, sunk in she was over in Scotland which kind of like exit it because and then we're a few, of, no, no, like quite a few years now. It's just because I wasn't really in contact with him until I was up to like 18 years old. And it just feels like I didn't know her that well, like like my other grandma. But even with my other grandma, I didn't get upset like straight away because it felt, it felt strange. But it was sort of like she was still there. It didn't like trigger in that she'd gone and, until like the actual funeral and then I just cried for days. Like, Diddles, oh, Diddles trying to give some love. She's like, ugh. But I'm still kind of looking forward to Christmas Day for presents and stuff. Yeah, presents. I've always spent more on people than I end up getting any presents, but I don't really care. I like buying people stuff. Which is why Christmas is kind of good cool because I at least get some like gifts for myself, which I probably wouldn't buy in the first place. Because I just like don't really like treating myself because I think, why should I spend money on myself? What are you doing? And Tiddles has got some Christmas presents and all my other pets and stuff like that. Tiddles just hanging out in the dining room because she's been a bit hyperactive, aren't you? And yeah, you work in camera. But um Miss Pussycat's had a bit enough for for this for the morning. <laughs> it's like can't let this little shit down. But uh, so yeah, it hasn't been a very good Christmas this year. And not, it's not even been a very good like 2014. It's been one of the shittiest years ever of crap happening. Are you following me in or what? Come here. <laughs> and uh, so yeah, it's just I can't really get excited about it. Like Christmas songs and everything. I'm just like, oh, shut up. <laughs> Christmas trees there. Like, it's just like, eh. It's like I can't even bother with it anymore, like the cat's been jumping about in it, which you can probably tell because it's freaking wrecked and <laughs> going a bit lopsided and I'm just like, uh, leave it. But you're two getting along, aren't you? You've been getting on, you've been playing and you've been kissing each other and washing each other. It's just you two that don't really get along. <laughs> Although I think Miss Pussycat tries to play around Misty but he's a bit rough and then it scares her. Hey, Misty Momo, you need a bath. You look like a great scrub head. <laughs> she always look like a scrub, don't you, Misty Moo? What are you trying to get yourself a Nemo flat for? Ah. And then Misty Pussycat's just being grumpy. He started getting, like, biting us, like, but I don't know what it is. It's sort of like you put it and then you stroke him. And we've been looking and people call him, like, love bites from cats. It's just like you're stroking him and then all of a sudden he'll bite you. But he wants you to fuss him, or even if he's trying to get your attention, he bites, and then you have to tell him off. So we've got to try and get that out of him now. He's never done it before, but he's just started doing it, like, the last few weeks. You naughty little cat. I know you you listening. No, I think he's sleeping, you Misty. Oh, like a little titter, it's been naughty. Yeah, I'll probably get pissed off in a minute, because we put cat in the dining room, and now I've let her back in again. But um, so yeah, like is anybody else having a really shitty Christmas? Just like I kind of get, uh, I kind of want to get into the mood for it because I want to be happy for everybody else. But yeah, again, just like uh, come on, because it's just gonna, I'm gonna see family now. But really, it's just gonna be me and my mum. How I kind of like it like that because if you go, like we have quite a lot of family. And they all like live near each other, so it's not like we've got to go far. I know I have my family over in Scotland, over seeing like a, we have to sort of funeral things out and stuff like that for my grandma. And uh, it was kind of upsetting because I bought her a present as well and stuff, and I got a bit upset about that the other day. Like I never got to give her a Christmas present or like that. 
So I kind of just have that set upstairs now. Like some Betty Boop stuff, because she was obsessed with Betty Boop. And then, um, but obviously like I'm going to see my cousins and everything, so I'll, I'll be happy with them and gain having presents and everything else like that and giving them their presents. Uh, but we don't, we're not having dinner with them because I think they was on about having a dinner but the only thing with it is because there's quite a few of us there's never enough room for anybody because none of us have like kind of massive houses to hold us because it's like me, my mum, uncle, auntie, uh, cousins, like then they've got like three kids and then they're married, one of my cousins married and then they've got two kids <laughs> and then there's just like pets and stuff as well all in the way and it's just like all the family coming together and it's just like and there's never enough room and like I'm because I'm one of the younger ones like even though like there's two two kids now baby and Caleb and all that I'm kind of still one of the younger ones so then it's sort of like you have to give you your seat up for the older ones and I end up sat on the floor and I don't really want to sit on my, on the floor with a Christmas dinner. <laughs> it's not very like festive is it? So it's easiest just to stay at home and have a Christmas dinner because then at least I get to sit at a table. <laughs> you know we only ever use this table, it only comes in, I only, only use it for Christmas day. But I was Christmas dinner on because I forced my mum to sit at it. I'm like, you sit at this table. You bought it and you never use it. You'll sit at this table and we will have a Christmas dinner. Like, because we don't even eat Sunday dinners, to be honest. We just eat in the rooms or downstairs. Misty Moo, you'll get Christmas dinner. And like, basically, everybody got a Christmas present except for Herbert because there's nothing really you can get him. I mean, what do you buy toys? <laughs> but uh, I know he likes balls, like playing with balls, <laughs> like bouncing balls and stuff and kicking them around, but he plays with the cat stuff, so we're just on about like cooking him <laughs> basically a Christmas dinner. Like he'll get a load of like veg veggie treats and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, but Misty, I got, I don't know if she's there, I can't tell you. She got a lead and a new harness. <laughs> and then Mr. Pussycat got some like treat things and some little toys and I also got Tiddle a load of toys. What are you down there for? <laughs> what is that like that for? You weirdo. And then Carla got her some like little mouse treats and the rabbit some like little crunchy stick thing, fruit things that, which she loves. And yeah, because I always get you some little like, Misty Moo's. And you needed a new harness and lead. I got it like because she's got this like new collar with a pink bow on it and everything. What she got this year so far, I'm gonna buy her because the harness she had is way too big for her because she put quite a bit of weight on, but now she's lost it again. And so she needed some uh, a bit smaller. And I put it on her and it's just perfectly like fits. And then a little lead which matches because it's all in the same like pinky colour. What are you doing, you little buggy lugs? Yeah, till has got a new collar now. Got a little pink colour on you. Yeah. But he needs a new scratching post because look at what he's been doing to the sofa. <laughs> he keeps scratching it and we keep turning him off so we need to get him a little cat tree thing. And it's like the only thing is around here there's only like little ones that you can buy. But I want to get a big one but I think I'm just going to get a little one to start off with and then get a bigger one because I don't want to order one online because obviously we're in Christmas time now and nobody it's like past the date of delivery times and all, and all that crap <laughs> but uh yeah and then I've got, I think I've got two more presents to get off people now and um let me just shut this door in case my mum comes back and Tiddle tries to leg it out the door <laughs> and um that was close nearly ran out of time just realised they're like 24 seconds but if we go in this room you can see all the things presents but these are not all mine these are mainly for people who I know family mainly because I've gave Emma Hearn and Charlotte hers and some of their like families families I got stuff for and then uh, them two and my presents down there and then these ones are for like family like they're all for going up Scotland and um, these are like it's kind of just like young kids and my dad and his girlfriend have bought for 
and then these are presents for the family up here for ki the kids up here because we mainly only buy like the younger people in the family and that but we like they're usually the older ones we just buy like a box of celebrations like this one the, I think it's a box of celebrations or quality streets and then because then it's easier because that, that's like they can eat chocolates <laughs> they can share a box of chocolates with each other so I think that's what she bought my aunt, that's what we bought my auntie, so my auntie and uncle can share them. <laughs> I think that's who they bought, I don't know. And then, um, and then like some other stuff. I think, and then there's loads of presents just like in here too, in this wardrobe. This is like, that's my mum's present there. And like loads of presents in this like big ginormous bag, but they're mainly what are going to her house for me. And the pets and everything. I think there might be a few family ones in there. But I am looking forward to opening presents for you again. It's just kind of like, can it be Christmas now and then we'll just get over and done with a new year and everything. Kind of fed up with hearing Christmas songs now. Though I haven't, it's not been as bad as last year, but I think it's because I haven't really been out as much shopping. <laughs> but I'm just kind of like fed up with people on about now. I'm just like, ugh. Although it's kind of like, I am happy about it, but it's never as fun as when you were little because I think it is and all, like, because of money, it's like, you, you end up spending more on people than what you actually even get back, usually. And, uh, and then you think, well, I could just kept that money and pretend and bought stuff, but you probably wouldn't have bought anything with it. You'd just still probably spend it on other people or just on crap, basically. Because I never treat myself really that much. But, um, but yeah, so I hope I get some stuff that I really want, and I hope that people like my presents too. So for what I want to buy, I'll buy it. I'm thinking, what? I, I plan, like, way ahead. Just, like, what does everybody like? And, like, people will say, I might want to all remember what people, like, say. If they say they like something, and I'm just like, it gets to Christmas, and I'm like, well, they did say they liked that, and they never bought themselves it, so therefore I'll go and get it. I remember stuff like that. Like, because I, I know that's what I've done with my mum, and so, <laughs> like, she keeps saying, like, I don't think she, she watches my videos, so I can probably say, nobody tell her I bought her a laptop. <laughs> because she keeps saying that she wants a new one, and she won't go out, and like, when she's had money, she won't go out and buy it herself one, she just doesn't treat herself, so. But it's kind of annoying because just recently she's basically broke her phone. <laughs> so I could have done with buying her a phone, but the laptop's here now, so she's getting friggin' that. She can she can buy her own phone. <laughs> and then um, if she wants one, because she, she only uses like cheap ones because she doesn't know how to do anything on them except for call and text. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, so, and that cost me quite a bit. That was the most expensive one. And I did, I've been like saving up for ages to actually get it because I didn't really have the money for it. It's just like a cheap one that I got on the sales. And because she doesn't need anything like major because she doesn't really know how well to use a laptop. And so it's a bit even tricky for her because it's, it's complica more complicated than the one that she has recently, like now. Because it's really, really old. My cousin had it when she was in high school and like she's in her 20s now. <laughs> and um, and she got that when she was like 13. And it's just really, really old and the screen, the, like the back is coming off of it and the screen's cracked. And she's, the keys are like lock, like stick. And stuff and some of them just don't work. And and just to build that many stuff on it, for God's sake, I don't even know how it still like survives and it's just really, really slow and crashing all the time and, and everything. It's just bodged up and she just needs something new. <laughs> but um yeah, but everything just seems to bad be happening like this December. And seriously, the news does not help. I hate watching news because it's just been so depressing recently. How many people have died recently and been killed? It's like, I've already got enough depressing bars. I don't need to know about everyone's being murdered. It's just it's crazy. What's going on this December? No, God. Like, open my calendar. It's all holy. There's like no Anna or Elsa left. I've just got like that one to open and then there'll be none of them left. <laughs> but uh but yeah, it's just been very depressing December, but I'm trying to get into the mood but it just got ruined again <laughs> with my grandma passing away and everything. It's just I could never really be bothered. Charlotte's coming up tomorrow, so we'll probably do as reviews, do a little like Christmassy special we'll probably do it downstairs with the Thing and that we all we did a Christmas Eve sort of like special. We we like waters, like save ch save children, jump for things and donate to that. And we did like a little gin Meadows gingerbread house. Like if you want to go see that, that's on the We Do Stuff channel. Like it came out 
pretty shit, let's just say. And uh but yeah, and my we see no tomorrow because apparently she'd got present for me, I don't know just yet. I mean, was supposed to join us for that video but she couldn't at the time because well I mean, hasn't had the best Christmas neither so <laughs> everything's just kinda happening and we're kinda just all like, Can it be over with already? I've got no more money left and everything bad's happening. But uh but yeah, so that's it for me. Oh bye!